Namaste guys and welcome to my video tutorial series on Vim the text editor. Um, this is an amazing te text editor that comes with almost every um, installation of Linux and it's uh, very powerful. Uh, it has really amazing support in the community and it has been known for a difficult learning curve. Um, so I'm gonna put up a few videos to help you guys get started with it and hopefully um, get to a level where you can switch to Vim from your current text editor retaining your productivity All right so who is this video series aimed at um, anyone who wants to start up uh, start off with Vim uh, can um, benefit from this series right so you could be someone who just wants to uh, know Vim to show off to your friends yeah welcome you could be someone who, uh, you could be a sysadmin who constantly SSHs into different Linux machines and um, might need to do a little bit of configuration uh, changes uh, on the fly. Um, and Vim is perfectly um, a good tool to do that, right? Um, and you might be someone who's using some other text editors, Emacs included, but wants to switch because you've heard so many good things about Vim. Uh, you're, in, uh, you're welcome as well. Um, all right, so this is a website that you can see uh, for Vim. It's vim.org, and I wanted you guys, you guys, to see uh, what uh, Vim is all about, right? Uh, so there's a bunch of text uh, about Vim and how it uh, is something that is like more powerful than VI, which was a more traditional uh, text editor, which has a little less um, capabilities than Vim does. Vim is kind of like a superset of VI, right? Uh, anyways, moving on. So this is the image that I found really interesting. I want you guys to uh, see this as well. So this penguin uh, stands for the Linux symbol, I guess. And this is the GNU Bison, right? Um, so this penguin wants to uh, go uh, buy something because he has to like drill holes in his uh, wall to hang his painting or something right um, so first of all he gets shown this powerful uh, heavy bulky um, uh, drill which has true two drill heads for some reason and it's called Emacs and he's like uh, no too heavy and then he's shown a different one which is uh, VI improved which which stands for Vim, right? And uh, he says, oh, that's too weird. Although it has ergonomic handling, he's like, eh. And then he says, uh, sorry, but wouldn't you have something more simpler? And the GNU Bison is pissed off and he hands him this mechanical drill. Um, so so he's now left with, uh, which is apparently called Notepad Plus, right? Now he's left with this drill, which he has to uh, hold, drill hole in the wall and it's really painful. That was a painful explanation, I guess. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so who's, uh, what is Vim not? And this is something that I want you guys to focus on. So Vim is not an editor designed to hold users' hands. Please don't expect Vim to be easy. Um, for the first couple weeks um, of using Vim, you will be lost. Um, you, you will find uh, these weird arcane key combinations instead of the familiar things that you were used to in your old text editor, right? Instead of hitting uh, Command S or Control S to save your document, you now have to um, type colon W Q or colon W enter to do the same thing and it will not make sense. And you can't just like read up a document and be like all right I know Vim now let's start using it no that's not how it works okay cool all right um so let's go to terminal I'm just going to pull up my terminal and um, I'm going to um, show you guys where you can find Vim in your system right if you're running Linux or Mac OS um, chances are well not chances are it's like almost definitely you have Vim running in your system, right? So if you type uh, which Vim, which is a Linux utility which helps you locate where this thing is in your system. 
So it's user bin vim, that, that's where my vim is. And you can also do the same thing um, for vi. Uh, and actually vi uh, uh, is mapped to vim in, um, in all the modern operating system distributions, right? So when you call vi, you are actually calling vim. Okay, so that's um, basic introduction of what this series is going to be, and I also have one utility written, so which will help us keep track of um, our progress in Vim. Right? It's called Vim Progress, uh, and it just shows you this um, chart, which will which we will keep adding to as uh, we progress through our materials. Right? Um, so when you're at twenty, I expect you guys to be uh, like capable of doing things that you could do with Notepad in Vim, right? And at 40, you'll be like, hmm, okay, I, I get why Vim does that. I get why Vim is so complicated, right? Quote, unquote, complicated. Um, and then at 60, you'll be like, uh, I don't mind. I could use Vim or I could use whatever VS Code or whatever, right? And at 80, you'll be like, whoa, what was I doing all my life? That's the goal. And me personally, I think I'm somewhere in between 70 and 80. Um, uh, I wish I can go here, but nah, that's uh, really uh, what I'm aiming for, but I'm not there yet. All right, that's it for this video. And in the next video, we'll start with introduction to Vim and uh, uh, how you can get started, right? Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next